Welcome back to the channel guys, my name is Rahan. I'm integrating medical student at Imperial College in London. I'm doing a degree in management, not that you're interested, but anyways. Today's video is actually something which links to my previous video, a day in the life of a neurosurgeon. Except, like I said in my previous video, I'm not a surgeon, I'm not a doctor, I'm a medical student. However, I did do my medical elective abroad with surgeons, so that is how I've collected all of this content. Today's video is a day in the life of a cardiovascular surgeon or a cardiothoracic surgeon. I was lucky enough to follow around the cardiovascular department in Vietnam in a national hospital and join in, essentially. They were very welcoming and they allowed me to participate and guide me through the surgery and what they were doing. Before I start with this video, two things I want to mention. First of all, all patients and doctors gave consent for me to film. Thank you to Projects Abroad for making this video possible. Now, Projects Abroad were the company that sent me abroad to film these videos and to give you guys this content. Now, if you, if you are interested in booking your medical elective or dental elective, then make sure you check out the link in the description and also use my discount code. Now, Projects Abroad offer electives in most parts of the world and you can pick how long you want to go for, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, five weeks, etc. There's, there's different variations, okay? So make sure you check them out if you're thinking of booking your elective. Now, to start off with the video, I would probably start my day at half five. Now, the reason I'd start my day at half five is because I'd wake up, I'd get ready, I'd do a little bit of exercise, have my breakfast, and I'd have to be in the hospital by around half six, I'd have to leave, sorry. And this hospital was actually a lot closer, so it would only take me about half an hour to get there but I'd have to be there for seven because seven o'clock was when the ward round started here. Now the cardiothoracic department was quite intense. So having started ward rounds at seven o'clock, they sometimes last for an hour or two hours. 10 o'clock, they have a meeting, like all of the doctors on the ward, junior doctors, medical students, they all have a meeting. Now the reason they did this was to sort of increase their knowledge of like certain topics and every week a doctor would be given a research article and they'd have to make a presentation and present that and there'd also be a bit of teaching as well. Now that would go on for an hour and that was something I really liked. So once this was done, 10 o'clock in the morning, we start surgery and we scrub up, we get ready and we see the patients. Young shorty, Milcavelli, white bricks, true religion on the telly, it's me. Wiz got the house full of freaks, that's why I haven't been around for a week.
Now, surgery would be finished about five o'clock maybe, for me anyways, but if the doctors were lucky, they'd probably get out by six or seven o'clock. If they were unlucky, they'd probably finish about 10 o'clock that day. On reflection, I really liked cardiovascular surgery. It's one of my favorite surgeries of all time, just generally like it's one of my favorite specialties of all time. Just because I find the heart fascinating, the fact that you can turn it off and turn it back on essentially, and it's quite cool. Just generally, the physiology of the heart was one of my favorite things that we learned in medical school. But I don't want to do heart surgery. No more, sadly. It's too much commitment and I'm not cut out for it, I don't think. So if you want to watch videos about why I don't want to be a surgeon, you can check out that video on my channel. So other than that, I really like the department as well and the fact that they were very welcoming Vietnam in general I really like. There's a lot of history in Vietnam and they're very resilient people. That's something that I learned. Um, resilient in the sense that they were resilient throughout the French colonization and they were also resilient through the war with America. Hopefully this video was helpful or even interesting. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe and yeah just make sure you subscribe because you will see some very interesting videos coming up this year in a bit mate